It's going to be your apple, kind of pineapple smelling thing. So we've got one, two, three, four carbons to where the oxygen is. So let's go over this way here. Methyl is on the end of that. There's the methyl. And four. So there's four. We can just go this way since they're straight carbons, right? Three. Two. One. Buter. Buter is the four. Okay, that one right, and then you get the methyl adder is three. For the real chemist, color coding these. So this one with the S. And S hybrid. We've got CH2s were brown, weren't they? Methyls, got to be a different color. Gray, real color, man. And the funky red. The scarlet, man. So these are called SP3. called SP2s. So this is the real chemistry, kids. Each of these carbons has different character. Only one we're missing is the SP, which would be one CH. Always put green outside the line because there's a lot of electronegativity out there. It's like a magnet. Remember the little iron filings? Lots of little lines of force. Physicists tried to say these were imaginary lines, but they're not. If they're not in the sun, they're sure as the heck not here. Double bond on that carbon. So this is pineapple. Methyl butyrate, carboxylate, now we're on to ethyl acetate, this is what you'll smell in wine.
This is the ethyl, ethyls two acetate. So there's two carbons there. We got two carbons on this side. So those are different. All right. How do we do it here? We got the SP2s down. That's the only one of those. We got a Color this up while we're doing the boring part, huh? So we got the double bond there. Green. SP3s. Can we color them red, I guess? I guess that works best because there's three H's on those. So if any of them are going to have the more positive. Although the more carbon pull you oxygen pull on that, the more positive it gets. Little delta plus, they call it. So here is your wine. Red, red wine. It's also a solvent. So you see that? Doesn't mean it's the best stuff in the world for your body. Ethyl acetate. 